my guests back toe to toe, nose to nose, and he won't give an inch. And part of the MAGA doctrine is not just passing good legislation, not just governing with conservative principles, but engaging in culture, the seven mountains of cultural influence, one of which is academia. He signed the free speech order for uh, free speech, executive order for free speech on college campuses, which we've benefited tremendously with uh, at Turning Point USA. He engages the culture in the terms of getting the left to finally be on defense. The first time in my life where I've seen the left actually be on defense, where he calls the media out for their outright activism for the Democrat Party. And this president, he's open-minded. And this is a president in past position, in past you know decades was not pro-life, yet he's the most pro-life president in American history. And he's unafraid to say, I moved on this issue because I saw a real-life instance of somebody that possibly could have been aborted and he's living a great life. Spoke at the March for Life, He's cut Planned Parenthood funding, and he deserves great appreciation for this. He has stood for religious liberty better than any other president that I can think of since Reagan. And Israel, as I mentioned, embassy in Jerusalem, Golan Heights, cutting funding to the Palestinian Authority, canceling the Iran deal. Which every Democrat running for president opposes. Every they want to move the embassy back to Tel Aviv. They want to move the embassy back, and particularly Sanders. He's got surrogates who he embraces who are vile anti-Semites, whether it's Sarsour, Sarsour mm -hmm. Talib, um, Omar, Omar, and the Democrat Party has a problem. That's right. And the president has the guts to call them out. We'll be right back.